Turn to the book of Romans now. Turn into your Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory. You know, a lot of people thought that when you're filled with the Holy Spirit, then you come like this. <laughs> they think you can't laugh when you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Because if you laugh, the anointing will go away. <laughs> Let me tell you, more miracles happen when you are happy. And when you show it that you are happy. If you have not known how to laugh, go and practice it. <laughs> Watch this now. If I laugh like this, <laughs> you may be thinking if you laugh like this in your church, everybody, <laughs> don't go away. No, no. Let me read to you now. You ready? From verse 17, Romans chapter 14. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy. You see, most of the church has stayed in righteousness and peace. That's all they have preached. They have never understood joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy that is not expressed is not joy. Until it is expressed, it is not joy. How do you know that people are joyful? There's laughter. There's shouting. Those are the two things that characterize joy. Laughter, shouting, then dancing. These are the things that characterize joy. It says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Joy in the Holy Ghost. So when you preach righteousness in church, everybody, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you preach peace. Mm, mm, mm. What about joy in the Holy Ghost? That's being filled with the Spirit. This is the kingdom of God. That's what he said. This is the kingdom of God. It says the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but... That means the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. And that he that in these things serveth, look at it, let's look at it, verse 18. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. So don't think that if you do this in church, people will run away. God is wiser than human beings. He's telling you if there's joy in your church, more people will come. That's what he's telling you. It's there. You see it? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Refuse to be that. If that's the way you used to be, you have changed. There's a metamorphosis. There's a transfiguration. 
He used to be very quiet behind the pulpit, you know. You stand there from the beginning of the sermon till the end. You know, just stay. Then every time you step out a little, stay. Hallelujah. 